This video is about a very tired knee last night, finally cutting the teeth on this two-way ratchet wheel. So I have actually finally done it. I did struggle a little bit along the way last night and I'll be honest, in retrospect, I should have done things slightly differently and that will become apparent towards the end of the video. But it did work, it just wasn't maybe quite as good as it should have been in execution. Using that 60 degree ratchet wheel, which is designed to cut replacements for these sort of tired clock ratchet wheels. But I didn't want to buy a new cutter, so it's about how I achieved this. Right, well, we're now ready to cut as far as I'm aware. I've set stops. That one, I may have to adjust the position because obviously I can't move the cutter through the workpiece to double check it. Everything else is set up. Uh, the he working head is locked off. The work table here is locked off. I've got my safety visor uh, ready because I don't want to be showered in the face with uh, lots of bits of brass. So without too much further ado, I'll get on with it. It's set to run at 2000 RPM. I may increase that. Uh, there we are. Rather a lot of mass from all of that. I have to be honest, if I was doing it again, I don't think I'd do a full depth of cut in one go. But I kind of felt committed to that once I started. Um, they do recommend that you use these cutters, full depth, first pass in brass. Um, and that's what I normally do, but this is a much thicker job than normal. And uh, I have to say that was slightly harder work than I was really anticipating. But it's done. I've got all the right number of teeth by the look of it. And so uh, I'm going to clean everything up now. Thanks for watching.